Well, that's pretty much. Oh, <laughs> let me make sure this doesn't fall. <laughs> oh, I'd be by surprise. There she is, it's my Yamaha XSR 900. This is a 2016 version. It is a gray aluminum, a gray metallic, I think that's what they call it. But yeah, here she is. I've definitely done a lot of work to it. I'm gonna show you all like a before and after, how, how it was before and how it looks now. So yeah, I've had this bike for about two years, two and a half years now, and it was actually used and uh it only had like 1200 miles and i think it was a still they got really wanted to set it so here she is now let's see what mods i've done to it and again when i bought it it was completely stock and just based on the picture you'll be able to see how it completely changed so let's see what's the first mod that i've done to it um let's see i think the first mod is obviously this right here this headlight that's a seven inch party headlight that I was able to pick up from Amazon and the, the original light bulb was actually five inch and I went ahead and got seven inch headlight because I just thought it gives it like a different like a pop to it and then right here we've got the dark white screen oh by the way I'm actually going to be dropping most if not all of the different mods that I have down in the description section so definitely stay tuned for that so yeah, I got the dark screen fly. It, it kind of helps with the with the wind, but most importantly, I just, just has that has that wow factor, has that cool factor. You know what I mean? And then, let's see what else did I get here. This is aftermarket, it's just the uh, Motodemic LED headlights, turn signals actually. Let me see if I can turn them on. Probably might not be able to see it as clear. Oh, yes you can it's right there and these things are super bright especially during the nighttime so turn those off okay so yep talked about the headlights talked about that and then let's turn it around here what we got, got the cramp buster that's aftermarket too it kind of helps your hand when you're on the long distance drives and then we got the trip machine little leather leather guards here for throttle and for over there these are actually pretty sick i got these from amazon and what else is different also you got the oxford heating heating grips these things right here are definitely definitely awesome probably not now because it's hot but during the winter time those things are definitely important and usually like even if the weather gets you know it gets cold even in summertime usually in the mornings it gets cold so having these especially in 60 degree weather is definitely going to help and it keeps my hands warm and these are also aftermarket these are actually i think 25 bucks and i got that from amazon too let's see let's see if you can turn it around What else did I get? Oh, the CRG, CRG levers right here. These are also aftermarket. And then these uh, sliders right here, also aftermarket. I don't know if you can see it right there. Looks cool too. Let's see if we can maybe pan back and see what else. Uh, let's see what else catches my attention. What else did I get? I did so much to this thing that I don't really know sometimes. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see it. Let's see if we can make this a little lighter. All right. Right there, that's that's an Abrakovich exhaust, full exhaust system, and I took out all of the naming just because I wanted the bike to look clean. But that's I think that's probably the most important, the most expensive thing I got on this bike. Definitely sounds loud. I'll probably turn it on in a little bit. So that's aftermarket. So I'm gonna turn it back off. And then I got this cage right here. That's off the. That's also aftermarket. Picked that up from. Hegdonian, this is guy that does parts, I think in Las Vegas, if I'm correct. I'll drop his link down below if you guys are interested. And then as you can see, I've got a lot of red. Well, not really a lot of red, just a lot of 
little red accents that I wanted to add on the bike. And I think that's pretty cool. This is a red accent that I picked up from Amazon. It just, you know, makes it pop. And the, good, the cool thing about this is that at nighttime, it kind of glows. So when you have headlights showing on it, it glows up. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously I went with a little Deadpool right there just so I can hide the uh, Yamaha branding. I take all of the branding out for the most part. But yeah, put that there at Marvel. That's actually Deadpool, who, who's a character in Marvel. So he's actually one of my favorite Marvel characters. And then foot pegs, that's also aftermarket foot pegs. Believe it or not, this bike right here can fit two people, but this is like the, the one of the few, one of the first mods that I have. I've got different seats that you'll see throughout the different logs. I've been showing just the different combinations that you can have this bike. So what else did I do to it? This, I can put saddlebags on. I'll show you all in a bit, but yeah, I can put saddlebags. This is, it didn't come with the bike, but it's an option that you can buy. I think they still have that option now. And uh, what else did I put? Uh, yep. This is also aftermarket. It's light tech chain adjusters. All right, so the cool thing about these chain adjusters is that it's super easy. You just bolt them on. It has a little tool right here that you just click and it adjusts the chain. And it's super simple. And also, this is also aftermarket. But yeah, this is actually one of the few times that I've actually sat down and actually licked at my bike. I just felt like I've just been modeling it so much and just riding it that I haven't actually sat back and actually just look at how nice and complete it is. It's pretty crazy. Chin the saddlebags here. You can add them there. So I'm actually going to put this down and then show you all how I add the saddlebags. So bear with me. And then you've got a whole compartment where you can actually add stuff as you can see put this back here so as you can see it actually it changes the way the bike looks with the saddlebag and that's like one of the one of the other models that's so cool about this bike and just how customizable it is but yeah i probably didn't even mention all of the different mods that i have i've definitely got a lot more mods in there and if i remember i'll probably just leave the description of it on the description link oh this is also aftermarket it's the radiator cover and yeah there's a bunch more i, I like this some stuff to the engine um it's definitely fast I, I probably shouldn't say what i've done to it just because i get into some trouble but it is definitely definitely fast it's uh it will, it will, it will i'll beat a lot of a lot of a, a thousand cc's out there so by the way this is a 900 cc and it's, it is my first bike so let me actually turn this around Go. Oh, this way so yeah so that's actually my first bike and a lot of people were telling me not to buy this bike it was too fast and too big for me um i'm not gonna lie it was at first but i definitely wanted something where i could have a quicker learning curve and i wouldn't get tired of it As compared to some people who get like a 600 cc which is still a lot of power i would definitely recommend you all to start off a 600 cc bike before you move up but yeah, I, I, I didn't grow up riding motorcycles, but I did ride a couple of dirt bikes when I was when I was younger. And when I was in school, I had a, like a 100 or 200, two, 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 250 cc um, scooter. So I, I definitely knew that I could definitely handle some power. And this is perfect for me. I definitely want to keep it for a while. I don't probably won't even upgrade for a minute. Um, the only probably the only bike I would definitely consider is the Yamaha V Max. If you know what I'm talking about? Do me a favor, smash that like button. But that bike is insane. But that one, it's actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, especially with the different modifications that I have and the different looks that I'm going to share with you all later on. Alrighty. So I usually like to reward the people that actually stay and watch the whole video. So now I'm gonna turn on the bike so you guys can hear it. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video. 
it was a little different, you know, I just wanted to switch them up on you all just to keep my creative juices going. So if you like today's video, do me a favor, smash that like button. If this is your first time on my channel, you know what you gotta do. Subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you all think. Also, let me know what's your favorite model on my motorcycle. As you can see, the weather is turning up right here in Washington State and I'm super excited to finally be outdoors. We're starting to lift a couple of things up so you know we can start going to more parks, start going to more you know cafes and stuff like that, especially around this time. A lot of the motorists we like going around different towns, different cities, just different cities and different towns and just going to the cafes, getting some Starbucks and things of that nature, some coffee or some pizza. So I'm looking forward to that and hopefully you guys are also looking forward to some sun and some warm weather. Uh, with that being said, see you guys next time. Peace.